Hello everybody, welcome back to OCRP. Once again, we're gonna be doing a civilian. We've got Jorge here, and you know how crazy, you know how crazy he gets, man? And uh, we are going to utilize the robbery script, and we're gonna try to get in a shootout with the police today. We have a lot of new cops that just went through training, so what a better way to bring them into the world of OCRP uh, than a good old-fashioned uh, robbery slash shootout with a suspect. Uh, and this one being Jorge, because he is a handful to deal with. He's got an AK-47, and looks like his hat is poking through the roof of the car. I think we're going to start off strong by hitting uh, the 24-7 right down the road here. Now, we have to be quick so the cops don't show up right away. That is the idea. We'll see uh, how this goes. All right, here we go. We're at the first place. Let's just get the car ready to go. Keep the door open and kind of this angle right there. That's going to be perfect right there. All right. In we go. We know we're going to be on camera when we do this, but that's okay. No big deal. And we're going to go ahead and not do that. We're going to break into the cash drawer. And here we go. Come on, Jorge. You got to be fast, buddy. You got to be faster than this. 36 seconds. This is going to take forever. Oh, man. All right. Well, we're going to be ready to go. I hear no sirens yet. 25 seconds. Man, this is a little more intense than uh, I realized. And 20 seconds left. Come on, let's go, 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 go. I try to hit all of these and then come back around to the LTD and have a shootout. I think that'll be cool because I haven't ever had a shootout in that spot. All right, 10 seconds left. Eight, seven, six. I don't want them to see my gun. I, that's why I didn't bring a gun in with me. Uh, so well, let's go, let's go, let's go. There you go. $480, hell yeah. Time to go, dude. Time to go. Woo! <laughs> $480. Okay. Well, now it begins. We uh, have to kind of lay low right now and head into Sandy Shores. Change of plans. We're going to go to Harmony and hit that one up next. Because I do want to get close and see how much money we can actually take before they, uh, they catch on to what's going on here. And uh, we're, we need to stop by ammunition and probably get an SMG because I only have an AK-47. That's usually what he has on him uh, in the back seat. But we're going to have to get an SMG. And to do that, we'll go to ammunition. All right, let's get crazy here. Got to come in hot on this 24-7. Just like this. Keep that door open just like that, dude. Run. Hit it up the best you can. There we go. Right to here and hit it. Hit it, dude. 30. Oh, it's so long, man. It is so long. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 10 seconds. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man. This is so freaking crazy. <laughs> oh, because I've been on the other end before and I know how it goes. Oh, four to thirty dollars Yeah. This is a great payday for Jorge. Not that it matters. Get in. Let's get out of here before the cops get here. Oh, yeah. That's two. Now we have to watch. What is that? Looks like we're hitting airbags on that uh, on the Dundreary. Why do I say airbags like that? Airbags. There's a cop right there, but looks like they're having a conversation with that guy on the golf cart. So I'm not going to pay any mind to that. No worries there. And we're going to stop at the ammunition. It's right around the corner here. Nobody's following us. No one's uh, figured out who we are just yet. Uh, but all they have to do is go check out that CCTV footage, and they're going to be able to put you know, two and two together. All right, so we bought a pistol and now we're getting a mini little gun here. And we're gonna refill ammo on that guy. And also on my pistol itself, we'll get some more ammo for that thing. And that should be good enough. So we took the money we just robbed and we bought guns with it. So I thought about robbing this one, but I'm thinking against it because of the problem that, uh, you know, they're going to swarm this place in two seconds and we're not going to have a shootout. We're just going to die the moment we do that. So yeah, we're going to roll on down the road a little bit here. So I'm scouting this out. If I get in a pursuit with the police right there is where I want to have the shootout in that building. That would be really, really, really cool. It'd be hard for them to try to clear that out. They'd have to flank on the back end there uh, to get it done. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to go ahead and just keep driving around. Wait for things to kind of cool down a little bit since we just hit those two places uh, and see if they're connecting the dots. Oh, there is a cop there investigating at the CCTV cameras. <laughs> so that's good. 
Not going to uh, mess around with that right now. This is the LTD I want to have the final stand at, but we need to get in a pursuit with these guys a little bit first. So maybe we can uh, call 911 and utilize that instead. I'm just going to go ahead and drive back here so the cops don't see me from the road. And we'll go from there. I'm writing in an emergency call and I just heard somebody pull up on me. Um, I really hope this isn't a cop in front of me here. Uh, spam mail held clerk uh, at gunpoint and then uh, and fled in a white Monte Carlo. There we go. That'll be perfect for that. Now that 911 call has been put in. Oh, that's a cop right there. Oh my God. That's terrible timing. That's just about as bad as it gets right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk to them. And we'll see how this goes. These guys are going to they're gonna see me immediately, man. <laughs> Jorge's not the smartest. He's just right behind the LTD calling 911. Unreal. All right, so I put the uh, 911 call in, but uh, no one answered the 911 call center. So I'm guessing they have something going on here. So I'm just going to take off and get their attention this way. And that ought to do it right there. They don't seem like they care at all. <laughs> That's cool. No biggie. Just, you know, I was like tearing out of there like a bat out of hell. I'm going to back up right here. I'm in the 911 call center. We'll see what they answer. 911, where is oh, your emergency? There they are. Yeah, I, I work at the LTD down at, uh, right here at uh, 10, 1050 or whatever. Right here at the uh, the 13 in the, in the Joshua. And a guy came in, held me at gunpoint, went in the back. I'm calling the police. And then uh, he's sitting back there. You got cops out front just sitting there doing nothing. He takes off, goes whizzing right past them, right on down the road. They didn't even flinch. Okay. Uh, can you describe him for me, sir? Yeah, he was. Uh, he, he was. Uh, he looked like he was from. He said, I, "I don't know what he was saying. I couldn't understand him." Oh, uh, but he had a. Uh, he had a, a like an over like stuffed blue jacket on. He's got a. He's got some sort of sock hat on, even though it's the summertime. I don't know what that's all about, but. Uh, he, he took off in a white Monte Carlo. Okay, did you see which direction he headed? I mean, he shot right past the cops. They didn't even care, man. He made a right turn and went towards the highway. How long ago did this occur? I mean, it couldn't have been more than a minute. Okay, and uh, was the person that held your gunpoint uh, white, black, Hispanic, Asian? I, I, I would, if I had to, to guess, it'd be Hispanic. Okay, and are you injured at all, sir? No, I'm fine. He just came in here and he had this like automatic looking gun thing and pointed at me and I gave him all I had in, in the in the register, which wasn't a whole lot. It was like a hundred and what, 110, 170, about 75. Yeah, about $175, I think is what I gave him. Okay. And what was your name, sir? Yeah, my name's Roscoe. All right, Roscoe, uh, we'll get help on the way. All right, I sure appreciate I mean, they were just sitting there doing nothing, man. I ain't seen nothing like it. Cops just let people go like that when they pointing guns at people. I apologize for that, sir. I'll uh, certainly update those officers, and we'll be on the lookout uh, for that white Monte Carlo. I don't suppose you caught a plate on it, did you, sir? No, I, I did. I, I had my I had my wife. She wrote down part of it. It was like 984, right? Was that what it was? 984. Yeah, nine, nine, there you go. <laughs> Okay, do you remember, or does your wife remember if that was uh, the beginning of the plate or the end of the plate? No, that's that's all we had right there. I mean, he shot past them so fast. I was like, cool, you better get that get that plate. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Roscoe, we'll get help on the way. Thanks for your call. All right, but, uh, I appreciate you see it. them again, don't hesitate to give us a call back right here at 911. No, I don't call 911 next time. I only call them one time. I got my shotgun. Okay, I would <laughs> highly recommend not using your shotgun, sir. <laughs> All right. Well, you have a nice day now. All right. You too. Take care, meow. All right. He did a meow. That was Brad. I mean, that was crazy. I, I shot right past them, like really close to them at a high speed and slid out in the road and all that. And not even one came out. I mean, I know they were talking to some people there, but holy mackerel. All right. Now that uh, we got their ears perked up, we're going to go hit the uh, grapeseed one and uh, see if we can rob this place under their nose. All right, here we are at this LTD. We're gonna rob this one and uh, we'll see if they respond any different to this place getting absolutely destroyed as of late. Let's get this gun out. 
Just in case a cop tries something. All right. Let's do it. What is this? Gu no. Yeah, we're fine. All right. Yeah, right here. Right here. Break into cash drawer. Let's do it. So it takes 45 seconds total to do this, which really isn't that long, but it, it seems like an eternity whenever you're doing it. All right. We got four to $15 from this one. Let's get out of here. If he stops running to the back end of his car, I think I hear a siren. Maybe not. Let's just go right around the corner here on, onto the dirt road. <laughs> All right. Well, now we're three. Now, y'all know me. I don't uh, normally do this style of RP that often. So that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to get things, you know, to ramp up a little bit here. But uh, so far, no one's taking the bait. Oh, here's a cop right here. Is he going to be uh, looking for me? Oh, you better believe it. You best believe it. <laughs> I'm going to play dumb too. I'm not going to pull over and think that he's going after him. I'm like, I thought you were going after him. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Oh yeah. He's trailing me. Oh, he turned off. No, he's not going my way. Let's see if they want me. Maybe just turned around for fun. Somehow I doubt that. So, oh no, not at all. I'm going to go up the hill here. Let's see if we can bring him around the corner. Oh yeah, they want to pull me over bad. So at least that worked. We have one cop that uh, understood this assignment today. Oh, he's pulling me over. Oh, this will be a perfect escape route up here. Let's go ahead and stop here. There we go. And we'll go to our windows. Roll them down. And we'll, uh, we'll just be nice. You know, Jorge's dumb. I mean, hey, it's no big deal, you know? Just robbed three, star three stores, one at gunpoint. Well, technically four stores since we did one with a 911 call. All right, let's see how this one's going to go. Hey, sir, how's it going today? Hey, you today? me over for, man. Uh, so my name's Deputy Williams of Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stop is your vehicle matches the uh, description of one that was involved in a in a robbery earlier. No, no, robbery? No, man, got a burrito. You, you got a burrito? No, I got a burrito, man. Oh, okay. What's your name, sir? My name is Jorge. What's your last name, Jorge? Macho. Jorge Nacho? Macho, man. Ma macho. Yeah, okay. Yeah, macho, macho, man. I <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sir, just, <laughs> yeah. just uh, do me a favor, sit tight for me, okay? You don't have any weapons in the vehicle or anything, do you? Uh, no, man. No? Okay. Man, I don't think so. It's not my car, man. It's not your car? Who is it? Whose is it? It's my buddy. Okay. You just borrowing it? Yeah. I'm gonna do. Okay. What's your buddy's name? Me, uh, U C A K forty seven in back. Uh, his name is uh Rodrigo. He Rodrigo? from Rodrigo as well, man. We come over to the boat. Okay. Is that a is that a rifle I see in the back there? No, no, man. It's with the, the the kid with the, the shoot shoot with the small one. Okay, it looks looks pretty big to me. Looks like kind no, of like an AK forty seven maybe. No, 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 man. Are you sure about that? Because that's what it looks like to me. No, man, I'm telling you, I don't know what you put me over for. What I do? Well, like I said, your vehicle matches the description of one involved in a robbery earlier. What did you say your friend's name was? Sorry, I had a lot of voices in my uh, ear when you were saying that. No, his name was Jacob. Jacob? You change it every right, time. Just sit tight for me every here with time. my partner. I'll be right back. All right, man. How you doing tonight? Oh, man, I don't know what they pulled over. What, what, are they, what are all this about? Um... Yeah, they uh they, they put out a um they put out a message to us uh, about a car matching this description you know we just we're just we're just uh, doing double checks you know if uh, every, everything comes back all sky free you know you'd be clear to go but you know we're, we're just gonna uh just gotta run you real quick and um we'll see what's going on all right man yeah I don't know why they pulled me over for man I think they're hassling hey well you know we we we, we, we just gotta you know dot our T's and cross our eyes you know all right we good uh, I don't know yet. You know, gotta wait for my partner to get back over here. You know, just um, okay, man. Sweet ride, man. Sweet ride. Well, uh, where'd you get it? 
Oh, not mine. It's my friend. Oh, uh, it's your friend? Yeah, my, it's my friend named John. Your friend named John has good taste. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got a real good taste. I'm going to go to right. Arapurigo, man. I'm going to get on a flight. I, I'm, I'm sorry. What, sir? I got to get on a flight to buy Kyle Perico, man. Oh, yeah? I, I I heard that's pretty nice over there. All right, well, you have a good one. Oh, well, hey, search, 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 search. search. I'm going to say that he told me I could go. <laughs> oh, Jorge is such an idiot. Jorge's, uh, he's... He's a, uh, a mix of, like... I don't, I don't know, but but basically like a, a bad Cheech Marin, basically. What's this about? Oh, you do, he told me I could go, man. No, get, get out of the car. No, he told me I could go. I, I don't know about that. Hop out for us. <laughs> oh, look at all, all of them. Here we go. Now it's on. Now it's on. <laughs> Yeah, so those were uh, guys, they were doing ride-alongs, it looked like. Oh my god, this thing is a cruising right now. But we want to get there as soon as we can so we can have a shootout with the cops. You know what I mean? And if I shoot early on, that won't be any good. Because that'll just make them want to kill me, like, immediately. So I don't want that to happen. By the way, that's the train script right there you saw. There's, so that's a live player in that train actually driving it. This thing is smashing down the road, man. I mean, it's topped out at 120, but I mean, it's it's a big block V8. Get around this car here. Yeah, I just want to get to the LTD so I can have a shootout with these guys. With all the new uh, rookie cops, you know. Oh my God, there's a fire. What is going on here? I have no clue. Oh, they can probably barely see me back there. Oh, yeah. This is going to be enough time, I think, to get to uh, back to the LTD and have a shootout with these guys. <laughs> I don't know how well of a shootout it's going to be because these always end pretty fast. But if we're barricaded, it might be perfect. So let's not screw this up too much. Don't screw this one up too much, Jeff. Right here is perfect. Get out of the car. There you go. Run, run. There you go. We got to get up into this little thing here around the back. I hear the cops. I see the cops. They probably see me now. Oh, don't fall, you stupid idiot. Go up the things. Go up them. Good Lord, that takes forever. That takes absolute. Why would you do that? Get back. Get back. I want to get up in there. Can't get up there now, son of a... Jeez, man, that sucks. Good old GTA physics for the win there. Oh, they're going to shoot me. They're going to shoot me dead. I'm going to have to go for this bus instead for the shootout. I wanted to go up in that thing so bad. But the stupid GTA physics were doing stupid things. Yep. Get down, dude. Get down. Are you kidding me? You're going to do that? Already, already. I hate killing cops, but man, they are really trying to hero me right now. I'm bleeding out a little bit. They got an officer down. What? Look at this. I oh, I'm just going to die immediately. I'm going to die immediately. There it is. Just like that, man. I wanted to have a shootout with these guys, but they just instantly flanked and killed. Go, uh, if you can go check on the officers over there, we got one that's down and one that's injured. So let's revive the, on the the ground. Thing. All right. So we had bullet holes all riddled. So me, uh, me, multiple GSWs, no pulse. I mean, do they, we, it, I got one of them though. I did get one of them. She, I mean, they just came at me so hard. I wanted to have a shootout with them. Multiple GSWs is what I put. I didn't even put multiple. I wanted to get up in there and have a shootout in that building so bad, but that's the way it goes, man.
That's the way it goes. I'll do uh, Jorge dies again. <laughs> Jorge dies again, man. <sighs> and this guy just keeps dying on me over and over again. This is why I'm not a, a medic. <laughs> I'm apparently not very good at this part. Well, there you have it, folks. Looks like Jorge dies again. Uh, <laughs> uh, I wanted, you know, to have a little bit more happen with it, but that's okay. What are you going to do? All right, guys, here's our uh, subject. Multiple gunshot wounds. I tried to patch them up best I can, but I was unable to get a pulse back. He had no pulse when we uh, arrived on scene here due to the multiple GSWs. I'll let you guys take it from here. Okay, there you go. So county medics are taking me away into the sky just like that. So Jorge lives to uh, to fight another day. I've never been able to successfully have a shootout uh, so far. Well, no, that one I had a while back was pretty cool, but I wanted to really try this place out here and thought they would like line up in the street there and have a shootout back and forth in a barricaded subject so they could use like uh, a bear cat and stuff, but... That wasn't in the cards for old Jorge today. So into the sky we go, folks. That's going to do it for this episode of OCRP. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.